Mm. I am fermenting my tomato seeds. I got three little jars going so far. You don't have to ferment your tomato seeds. It's just one of the methods that people use. Some people say that it you get better germination this way, but I've seen people that have tried many different methods and they got good germination with each one. So I don't think it really matters, but I'm just doing it kind of for fun. Never done it before. I got lots of compost that I need to go give to the chickens. I canned some tomatoes yesterday, so I have all these tomato skins. Let's go do that. Come on, Marmar. Those cicadas are loud today. Huh, should I bring my basket? Ew! There you go, enjoy that. I've got some onions here, let's see, see this one. I should have collected it sooner, see most of them have fallen out. I've been getting tons of tomatoes. Uh-oh, looks like a sunflower came down. We had a big storm last night, Oh. Now that's just sad. You see that? It snapped. We got some rain last night and some lightning and well, that makes me sad. They didn't even have a chance to flower. Now I guess we'll just give it to the chickens. Come on girls. Let's see if I can throw this over. Whew. It happens. How tall this one is. I don't remember what kind these are. I don't know if these are the chocolate cherries or something else. But I wanted to show y'all something that I think is quite fascinating. See these carrots? See how they're all going to seed and see all those seeds? Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, that's one of those water birds, isn't it? What on earth is it doing? That's kind of cool. Anyway, I have always read and learned that carrots are biennial, which means they will only produce seeds in their second year. Well, I planted these in the fall. It's already producing seeds in its first year. I've got tons of these seeds that I'm gonna be collecting. See, look, all of these, these guys are ready. I've read if you want long time storage on these carrot seeds, that you need to remove the kind of, it's, I don't know if y'all can see, there's like these little spiky little things on it. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt, but you wanna remove those if you want long time storage. But then again, I don't know, that's something else. I've learned on the internet. You just never know, y'all. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to try it out myself. This arch, look at this thing. Kind of get in the shade here. This is my cucamelons. I've never had cucamelons before, so I planted them because I was curious. They're finally starting to swell and produce fr fruit. For the longest time, I was like, why is this thing not producing fruit? I've got tons of flowers on here and there's tons of pollinators. But you see it's starting to get sick. This is downy mildew, that's what it looks like to me. It's fine, we'll just let it go. I'm excited to try a cucamelon. I'm seeding, you see how some of them are starting to finally swell here at the base. And the pickles are just going real good. I collected a massive squash off this one, a summer squash, and I'm gonna collect seeds from that one. This one's been my best plant. It's just now starting to get some sickness. And this row's coming in beautifully. See, I've got the mixed in beans. This is a cayenne pepper, basil. This is a hollyhock, another cayenne. Random buckwheat here growing. I think this is just another summer squash, possibly zucchini. And of course, lots of beans. I've been having to watch some of the beans because they're wanting to climb. Hello, Trigo. So this week I decided just for fun, just to see. I planted more squash all down this row and all down this row. 
I did the Tahitian melons and Long Island cheese and the Jarndale since those have done so well. And so let's just see if they come up or not. I just did it for fun because these tomatoes are pittering out. I'll get all the tomatoes I can off of them. And this guy's just still going. I mean, he's still, it's still putting out fruit. Look at this. See? Look at that. This thing is just crazy. So these Tahitian melons are supposedly similar to the taste of butternut squashes, but slightly sweeter. That's what I've heard anyway, so we'll see. I see this new bug here, you see? It's a stink bug. Oh. That's a new one, I'm gonna have to look that one up. I had to pick one of my, these little white boar squash here because this vine here died, you see? So it's vine died, so I ended up having to cut it down. Let's see, these are the tomatoes we planted. Looking good, huh? Getting tall. Look at this. These are so pretty, these um, Long Island cheeses. I love them. And this Jarndale, my goodness, look at how large it's gotten. Is it not beautiful? So these two guys have been very prolific. Woohoo! I'm very happy with them. See, they're just going nut nuts. It's very pretty, isn't it? I just love how it looks. It's just kind of iconic. I love how it's kind of messy up there, you know? See those guys? The squash beetles there. Those are too tall for me up there. I'm gonna need to get a stool or something. Sun's coming out. Feeling it. I think we're gonna go to the lake today, y'all, and go cool off. But you see here, remember when I planted them? Looks like they could use a little water. But they greened up just fine. And I'm gonna cut all the heads off these dried onions that are ready and uh, collect the seeds from those. Here's the turkeys. They sound like dinosaurs. Hi, Trigo. The turkeys especially sound like that dinosaur from Jurassic Park that spits that nastiness onto people's faces. I don't know if it blinds them or paralyzes them or what. These turkeys, they sound just like that thing. I think. Hear that? I think that's what they did. I think they got the ideas from a lot of the sounds from the dinosaurs for that movie from listening to chickens and turkeys. They walk like dinosaurs too. Oh, my corn's making corn. Sounds like the ladies are in there laying eggs. I know I had one. Here we go. See that? See all those little black things? That's the onion seed. Hi, Trigu. What are you doing? Oh, here's quite a few here. It's like I lost some of these too. Need to be more on the ball. I'm gonna cut all the heads off these carrots too that are dry. And we'll bring them in the house and let them fully dry from all that rain. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Hello, Alright, I got plenty of carrot seeds. Not as many onions. That's okay. I picked the biggest beef steak this week. It's called a pink jazz. We had it this morning for breakfast. Mmm. Big old slice with eggs and homemade bread. So good. I didn't get a video of that because I just ate it up. It was just too good. Hey, you. What's up, babe? Feeling the heat? I'm feeling it. Well, no, I'm not. I'm hiding in the shade. <laughs> I got lots of carrot seeds. I'm excited to go in the house and separate them and we'll store them. Are we going to have to get a cattle panel trellis here? Well, we could. We could do the string I'd... weaving thing. We could string weave them, yeah thought that I would just support them on these whatchamacallums. What are these called? T-posts. T-posts. Yeah, we can do that. And yeah, we can try the string method. I've never done that before. I see there's squash in between. What kind are they? Um, I don't know. 
either summer squash or a white scallop squash. One or the other. Summer type. Anyway. Yeah, it's going to be a surprise. Because <laughs> I like surprises. Summer surprise. I like surprises. There's some squash beetles over here. Oh, I see another one. That is the only downside of having them so high up is because I can't grab them. Up there? Yeah, you see that one right there? On that leaf? Right here? Yeah. I don't like squishing them. They freak me out, but I'm, they don't bite. They don't bite. I need to remind myself. Yeah, there's two over here, and I maybe you can reach them for me so I can get them. Hey, you guys. I noticed the turkeys are starting to come out on this side. This area is more overgrown. They've gotten in the habit of going on the other side. I was just telling them how these turkeys sound like dinosaurs. Yes. Like that dinosaur. I think Jurassic Park, where they, I think they got a lot of That's the sound how, effects yeah. from turkeys. I think so too. And chickens. And the way they walk, you know, the way they move. Well, sure. <laughs> they where? even call them turkeys. In the beginning of the movie, he's. Oh, yeah. Remember the little kid was like, that just sounds like a six foot turkey. And he's like, yeah, well, this turkey will rip your guts out. It's yeah, like, yeah. He's like totally emotionally abusing this kid that he doesn't even know. Yep. And the whole audience were just like, yeah, it's the 90s. That's how you treat kids that you don't know. <laughs> All right, where were those two little guys? I saw them. They were mating, and they were too high for me to get them. No, I don't see them anymore. What's probably, this little guy? Probably moved. Is he eating that leaf, or is he, <clears throat> is he eating whatever ate that leaf? I don't know what kind of bug leaf. this is. I'm seeing a lot of new bugs this year. The front part of him reminds me of a praying mantis. A yeah, bit, but his little... Know? is. It's yeah. like a little miniature praying mantis. Kind of. I think that's what it is. I don't know. Look at he's looking at us. And we're huh. looking at him. And he's looking at us looking at him. <laughs> well, gosh darn it. Those guys must have moved because I don't see them anymore. <laughs> we need to get that one down today. Yeah, we let some of these go. That I could probably pick grenade. this one right here. And we're going to slice those up. They're this delicious. Will, this will be good with some vinegar for Yeah, lunch. this one down here too. I've let those go on purpose. Yeah, this one can go a little further. We could probably pick that one right there, baby. Definitely. I'll start a new jar of ferment today. I need to go get more dill. It's unfortunate that dill is a cold weather crop because I want to use it yeah. in the summer. We had some dill, I well, thought. Well, in the fall, but then it bolts. When it when you get it we consistent. We needed to get it, yeah, before yeah. it bolts. It. Once it hits 80 degrees and it's a consistent 80 degrees, it will bolt. Oh, look at those little guys. Yeah, they're gonna lay little eggs and they're gonna have little worms all over here. I don't those know what they are. I don't know. This is my Carolina Reaper. I'm real excited about it. I've got three of these. Never had a Carolina Reaper before. I'm excited. I love spicy. I'm a little bit scared. Are you a little scared? I'm a little bit scared of the Carolina Reaper. We did the ghost peppers last year. I didn't feel like they were. I prefer the flavor of the habaneros. Yep. Oh, look, this little guy. Pretty. Tiny, though. All those sunflowers I planted last week are popping up. And my little weed tea here, it's getting all bubbly. Yeah. I'm going to stir it up. So these are lactobacteria, and they don't like oxygen. So that scummy layer at the top, that's called a pellicle. They form that to protect themselves from the oxygen above the water. If you basically if you put a lid on it yeah. and they'll they build CO2, that's what these bubbles are, and they won't form that scummy pellicle. They won't need it. But uh, they'll they'll make another one now cuz we just messed that one up. It smells lovely. When you ferment your own pickles, they do that too. It's very normal, the pellicle. And it's Yeah, mine's starting to already form a little bit of that. It is harmless. People see a scummy layer on top of fermenting things and they're like, ugh. It's normal. It's, it's healthy. Great. Just yeah. the way God made it. <laughs> it's going good. Yeah. yeah. I added a bunch more. I did a bunch of weeding this week. Weeded the garden and added them to my little compost tea. I don't think it smells bad. Really? I think it smells like rotting garbage. Well... I guess if I, if you're thinking about the process, then it smells exactly the way it should smell. Sure. And so that's the, that is the smell of a good compost ferment. Yeah. It's I'm just, just like. Laughing at tree here. That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God, T, what are you doing? Trico, is that comfortable? 
Oh my gosh, she looks so silly. That cracks you up. I'm sorry I interrupted you, no, but I was cracking up. So dirt, good soil. Yeah. Smells good to you. Yeah. There are other people who aren't so used to the smells of earthy things, mm -hmm. and they, that smells gross. Yeah. It's dirt. So this, to me, I've done a lot of fermenting, and I like the smell of a good ferment, I think. Yeah, we, we like to make our own mead yep. as well. So it's and another... other fermented foods. Yeah, huh? that's a big old pokeweed plant here coming up. It looks so pretty. Wild in here. This is where the turkeys are going to go, y'all. This is pokeweed. We'll have to do a little video on that one. Day. When they come in right, yeah. when the berries come in right. We'll do a little video on some pokeweed. Check out my pumpkin. This particular pumpkin plant's getting sick, and I don't know. Nate, I think it's just putting out one pumpkin. I think you're right. <clears throat> we will not keep seeds from a plant that puts out one pumpkin. Yeah, I'll, I'll do more pumpkins next year. The kids were kind of disappointed that we only have one of the carving kind, but look at this one. It's really growing. I don't know what it is, though. I was thinking it was a jack-o'-lantern, but now I'm kind of wondering if it's Jarendale, if it's going to start getting green. I got stuck. What you doing, Bean? Beans are growing. Our little bean fort. My little bean fort. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're gonna go get ready and go to the lake and cool off. Yeah. And, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs>